All right, hello everyone. Um, I just went to the doctor earlier, and I'll vlog about this after. But um, my doctor has um, put me on an extra medication called Menagon, and it has FSH and LH in it. And he's put me on 150 um, IUs of it, which means I have two vials. And if you look at it, you can see that it's quite a different type of vial compared to the gonolef. So it is mixed a little differently. It is also an intramuscular injection. So it has to either be done in the arm, the upper buttocks, or the side of the leg. And my husband will do this one for me because it hurts a lot less if he does. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to mix this first. Okay, first thing you need is a syringe and a mixing needle, okay? It's the same type of mixing needle as I would use with the Gonolef, okay? Now, the second thing I need to do is break off the caps of these vials. If you see on here, there's a blue um, dot, okay? I want to break the vial using that dot. So I put my finger over that dot and just crack it off. Okay? So that's the Metagon. And that has two powders in it. Okay? And then I also have a vial of water. If you remember for the Gonel app, it's already in a pre filled syringe. This is in a vial. So I just tap it to make sure all the water goes down into the vial and not in the cover because we don't want to lose any water. And then again, I can snap it off. Now these are glass vials, hence the reason why I'm using a bit of tissue to snap it off in case I were to um, cut myself, which would not be pleasant. I've done that before. Okay, and then again, I pull out some the syringe to one millimeter or milliliter, sorry, and so there's that much air and it's easier to suck up the stuff. And it's actually much easier to get these um, the water and the medication out of these vials than the other one because there's no um, suction on top of the vials. So it makes life quite a bit easier, okay? So again, I just put the water into the solution very slowly so there's no bubbles. Okay, and you can sort of see it filling up there. And then I just pull back on the plunger and it sucks it up. Okay. And then now because I have it, the plunger all the way down here, I just want to push it up. So it makes it easier to get the stuff out of the next injection, out of the next vial of medication. So slowly fill it and then suck it out. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Fairly easy, right? Okay, so now I just make sure there's no bubbles. Okay. Bubbles are no fun. Then I can take this one off and switch it for the intramuscular injection head, which is fairly big. Okay, so now I can go and bug my husband to poke me with that. All right, have a good day.